Hey guys, Adam from Equipped and Door. Got a neat little item I want to talk about, and that is the Live Fire, made by North Cal Survival. So let's give this thing a test and review right now and see how well it does. Very interesting little item. You can actually slide this tin, and there's the, the medium in which you're lighting fires with. And the cool thing about it is you can light this with a ferro rod or a lighter. There we go. Now this uh, tin will burn for 30 minutes. Now you guys probably can't see the flame. See the color changing. And then you can also control the size of the flame. So if you want to make it smaller, you can. Or if you want to expand it. The way I see somebody using this medium is kind of like getting their fire structure set up, the tinder and the kindling, and even some fuel wood, and they can control the flame and place it under there, light areas that they need to light, and then you can close this up and save it for later. We're gonna try a couple different ways to light it. Of course, a lighter, which shouldn't be a problem. So first thing we're gonna do is uh, take a stick here, just feather it a little bit. Give it all kind of surface area. It looks like multiple levels of this material. You guys can see that right there. And we're going to go ahead and just light this with the old-fashioned lighter. There we go. Let it burn for a few minutes. And the cool thing about it is this sliding face that you can adjust the size of the flame you want to keep in there. And this thing is supposed to burn for about 30 minutes. Now you can cut out a piece of this and use it as a fire starter and a fire if you need to. But what I would use this thing for, and let's let that get kind of roasting, is you know once you have your fire structure or whatever you're trying to burn up here, and this is just some pulpy wood that we've we're burning for another test. Set that up, stick this under here, light that other material on fire. And then uh, pull it out when you don't want to use you don't want to use all of it, which is kind of neat. And of course, we are way too big of chunks of wood right here. We're just kind of having fun here. Now we're going to put, put some on this side. And then of course we can just slide that down and extinguish that if need be. Pretty neat. But let's say uh, this starts to go out, catch a little flame real quick, then help spread this guy around a little bit more. So it's almost like a perpetual match, which is pretty neat. Now, of course, I'm uh, not using any kindling or tinder for this fire. Just using this to kind of give you guys a an example of kind of heat we're pushing out on this thing. Let's add a little oxygen. All right, so we were able to blow it out. I love experimenting. There we go. Now it is a little greasy. I don't know what the substance in here is. But so they cool down a little bit. We'll do some more test of it here in a second. Let's put out this fire. All right, guys, we're gonna do the unthinkable just because that's what kind of mood I'm in. We're gonna take this and throw some more water on here. Okay, you guys can see that. 
torrential downpour and we're gonna you guys can see the water and the dirt and everything else in there and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my knife and my fire steel so I'm pretty sure we'll just fluff up some of this stuff with our knife So you guys can see it's kind of like some kind of cloth folded in here. All right, let's give that a try. I had a plan there for a second, I saw it. So what we're gonna to try to do now is we're gonna flip this stuff over. And use the back of it. All right, there's a good fluffy piece. There we go. So that, all that popping and hissing, I did not hear that previously, so that means that's a good amount of water in there. Lighter test guys, now I was having some trouble lighting it standing up before because of the wind. Right, it's lit. See how easy it is to light while we still have gas there. There we go. Not, not hard at all. Now, it's not that wind resistant. But it's not that bad either. application I would use this for for starting my fires I don't necessarily think I would throw in the whole tin under a fire and just waste it I think there's a lot of burn potential a lot of burn time into this and you could use some other resources to start this fire so that would just be a waste of your uh, your equipment if that was the case let's hit that water now All right, I think that was pretty good off. I will say it's pretty sooty. I don't know if you guys can perceive the, the black soot that's coming off of there. But you know, hey, that's no big deal. Even though it was a little bit difficult to light with a lighter using a Bic out here in the wilderness, uh, it was pretty windy. I will do some further testing with this with some matches. Of course, the ferro rod worked. It was a little difficult after we dumped it with some water, but after we put it out and started it again, it worked pretty well. And we charred it for a good amount of time there. You guys saw how long we were doing that. Ooh, there's some mud in there. And I think we have plenty more material in here for plenty of future burns. And I'm just gonna pull that up so you can see all the other layers right there. So very interesting. Now the price point about $7.95. It's gonna be on the pricier end of some of these fire starters, especially for the size, but with a 30 minute burn time, I'd say that's pretty interesting. Now, how would you deploy this? Now, I kind of look at this as kind of a perpetual match, something I can light with a fire steel, another match, and then use this to start my fire in a controlled way. 
It's very hard sometimes using a match to start a fire if you're not using a bush match or some other material or using your ferro rod and knocking down your fire structure. This way you can have a nice tinder ball in there into fire structure, your kindling and some of your fuel wood getting ready to go. Put this underneath, get enough heat and flame up there to raise the temperature really quick, pretty fast. So live fire, good stuff. Check out NorthCalSurvival.com. And I'm Adam from EquippedIndoor.com. If you have any questions or comments, please email me at Adam at EquippedIndoor. You guys take care, be safe out there. And remember, if you're not always prepared, you're never prepared. Thanks.